Tesla has managed to surprise their audience by revealing newer and better models every couple of years. Also, the weight and the excitement that they create for the unveiling is what makes their cars even better and desired by their customers. One example that was recently released is the Tesla Semi, which has been in talks since 2017. So what exactly is it that makes this Semi so special? And why is it one of the most recommended Tesla models by experts? Stick around until the end to find out. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, presented the Tesla Semi in November 2017. It is the company's first venture into the commercial trucking sector, a fully electric vehicle with an autopilot capability to aid semi-autonomous driving and trucker safety on long journeys. The Tesla Semi could save fleet companies over $200,000 in fuel expenses alone over two years, according to Tesla, because it has fewer systems to maintain and since it can run on only two of its four distinct motors. Tesla claims that the truck will not break down after even being driven for more than 100,000 miles. The electric batteries in the Tesla Semi work much like those in other Tesla vehicles. Four motors, identical to those used in the Model 3, power four wheels across the back axis individually. The concept was developed to eliminate differentials and provide the Tesla Semi with as much traction control as possible for added stability. The size of the Tesla Semi lithium battery determines one important aspect of the truck, the truck's range. According to Tesla, one model of the Tesla Semi will be able to go 500 miles before needing to be recharged, while the other will be able to travel 300 miles. Because of the vehicle's size and weight, they must be careful in moving it down the road. The batteries are massive, starting beneath the floor of the driver's feet and running all the way back to the rear set of wheels on the truck. Tesla has been awfully quiet on the battery's weight and how long it will take to charge the vehicle. Some analysts estimate that the truck will need between 600 and 1,000 kilowatt hours of power to drive 300 or 500 miles. The Semi's battery, based on this calculation, must weigh roughly 8,000 pounds. The company also says that it can charge to 80% or 400 miles of range which Tesla claims is a significant distance. 30 minutes may seem a bit unbelievable, but Musk has a different perspective on the matter. He points out that topping off a diesel truck takes about 15 minutes in any case, and that when loading and unloading the vehicle, drivers must generally stop for about 30 minutes. He also mentions that 400 miles of range equate to about six to seven hours of driving, after which a driver is required to make a mandatory rest break. Another fascinating fact is that in the United States, 80% of all routes are less than 250 miles long, making the semi ideal for traveling within the country on a single charge. Like other Tesla vehicles, such as the Model S and Model X, the Tesla semi will be able to partially self-drive thanks to a semi-autonomous autopilot technology. The key word here is semi-autonomous. This isn't a self-driving truck. But the Semi will use a range of cameras and sensors to help the truck's computer systems monitor its surroundings and keep the driver and other road users safe. The improved autopilot feature assists the vehicle in staying in its lane, warns of potential collisions, and can even apply the brakes automatically in an emergency up to the point where it will take appropriate action if an accident occurs. If the driver has a medical emergency and the vehicle is unable to communicate with them, it will notify emergency services. New technology with active safety controls, according to the business, would detect and prevent jackknifing. According to Musk, the technology might one day support multiple units to travel in an autopilot-based convoy led by a truck with a driver, which would be a cheaper alternative to rail transportation. Platooning was only authorized in eight states at the time and all of them required a human driver on each truck. So Musk's goal would require legislative changes, which, let's be honest, does not seem that plausible in the near future, at least. The Semi has great performance, according to Tesla, accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour in five seconds, or 20 seconds when fully loaded with an 80,000 pound load, which is the maximum it can carry on US highways. The vehicle's four independent motors enable swift traction control, allowing it to drive up and down inclines quickly. 
the energy usage per mile is estimated to be less than 2 kilowatts per hour. The best diesel trucks, according to Tesla, can drive 45 miles per hour, up a 5% incline, whereas its truck can go 65 miles per hour at a maximum incline while carrying a heavy load. Musk argues that the Tesla truck is designed to be like a bullet rather than a barn wall design of diesel trucks, with a drag coefficient of 0.36 compared to a 0.65 for a conventional truck, which is far better than a supercar. It has side flaps that are the same size as its trailer to boost its efficiency. It will supposedly be as smooth as driving a regular Tesla, but the driver will not be able to swap gears. By connecting with fleet management systems, Tesla promises to decrease the clutter of third-party devices that clog up many trucks. A central driver position, similar to that of a Formula One car, rather than a heavy goods vehicle, is thought to offer the driver the best visibility and control, while a low center of gravity is thought to provide rollover protection in the event of an accident. Several well-known companies, including significant global corporations, have made orders for Tesla semis as of early 2018. United Parcel Service has placed a 125-unit order, followed by PepsiCo, which has placed a 100-unit purchase. Many other big names, such as Cisco, Anheuser-Busch, Walmart, and DHL have also placed orders to add this truck to their fleets. Unsurprisingly, all of these companies rely heavily on cargo delivery, with many of them based in the United States, where commercial vehicle trucking plays an important role in carrying goods across the country and North America. By the end of the year, PepsiCo expects to receive its first battery-powered big rigs, and soon enough, they plan on having a fleet of 15 trucks in total. Tesla has a track record of missing car launch targets but the semi appears to be on the road sooner than Elon Musk anticipated. According to PepsiCo CEO Ramon LaGuarda, the vehicles are part of the company's efforts to reduce pollution caused by transportation. PepsiCo said in late 2017 that it had pre-ordered 100 Tesla semis shortly after the truck's debut. Tesla could find trucking to be a lucrative way to get as many electric vehicles on the road as possible. According to American Trucking Association, the trucking industry generated $726 billion in income in 2015, with 3.5 million drivers transporting cargo across the country. Despite these massive numbers, the trucking sector is experiencing a driver shortage. For Tesla, getting into this market is not an easy task. The Tesla Semi may face some difficulties, Many issues about the Tesla Semi remain unanswered, the most crucial of which is whether it can actually compete on total cost with diesel rigs. Line haul trucking involves the use of heavy-duty vehicles to transport goods across long distances. Many towns already have electric charging facilities, so a Tesla Semi traveling a few hundred miles through urban areas should be fine. However, because of the electric vehicle's restricted range, certain heavy-duty truck drivers may be unable to finish some longer runs with the semi. While electric charging facilities are few and far between, diesel is still abundantly available across the country, especially at remote truck stops in deserted areas. More charging stations will be necessary to facilitate this. Furthermore, because the Tesla semi has fewer moving parts, it is less prone to break down. However, in the event of a Tesla Semi breaking down or abruptly stopping on the highway, drivers and fleet managers may curse the fact that they don't drive a diesel truck because almost all auto repair shop mechanics are less likely to be able to repair the truck, as to handle these vehicles, a specialized licensed professional will be required. The cost of the Tesla Semi varies depending on the model, but the lowest priced Tesla truck with a 300-mile range will cost $150,000, while the 500-mile range vehicle will cost $180,000. In both cases, a $20,000 down payment is necessary. Tesla also provides a limited edition Founders Series model for $200,000, but the 1,000 vehicle run will come with its own distinctive trim, 